The weights of ice cream cartons are normally distributed with the mean weight of 12 ounces and a standard deviation of 0.3 ounces. So um, we can open up normal calculator for this. Let's see, I must have one over here with me. So you go stat calculate, normal calculator, um, and enter those numbers given to us. Mean is 12. Standard deviation is 0 0.3. So when A is asking us to find the probability that a randomly selected carton, that A randomly selected carton, so picking just one, right? Um, if that's the case, we just have to do what we do. But I think your question is more on the second one. So if we type that in, we'll be able to find the probability of picking a carton that is heavier than 12.09 ounces. And that number, you got that right. But it's the second one. Um, what about we have a sample of 36 cartons? Now we're talking about sampling distribution of sample means. So imagine going out and buying um, um, 36 ice creams, okay? And you add up all their weights and divide by 36 to find their average, okay? Find the mean weight of these ice creams, 36 ice creams, okay? They're asking, what's the probability that that average that you just calculated is greater than 12.9? So whenever you're talking about the probability of a sample average being greater than or less than, um, equal to a number, we're not using our regular standard deviation, okay? Remember in class we talked about this formula, okay? This is called the standard deviation of sampling distribution of sample mean, aka sampling, I'm um, sorry, standard error, okay? So when you have a sample full of stuff, this is the formula you will have to use to recalculate the standard error, okay? So let's do this. Um, what was the population standard deviation given to us in this problem? 0.3. Um, we have to do square root of the sample size, and it said a sample of 36. So 36 is going to be the end value. Now we need to type this into the calculator. So on a graphing or scientific calculator, we're typing in 0 0.3 divided by square root of 36, and that number came out to be 0 0.05. That is the standard deviation for this sampling distribution of sample mean. So look, everything else in your stack crunch calculator remains the same, but the standard error goes down from 0 0.3 to 0 0.05, and hit compute. This is going to be the answer. So uh, there's a much lower chance that we're going to get a sample of 36 ice creams and its weight coming out to be, their average weight coming out to be heavier than 12.9. That's less than 5%, right? So let me enter that. And they want us to round to four decimal places, okay? Um... Oh, I guess they're not asking for what is unusual, but if they ask, then we would say it will be considered very unusual to have a sample of 36 cartons and their average coming out to be heavier than 12.9 ounces.